The wraps have finally been taken off of the all new 2022 11th generation Honda Civic. Styling, interior, performance, packaging, we're gonna cover it all today. Grab your snacks and drinks and buckle in. Over at the Honda newsroom, all new 11th generation Civic sedan fully revealed in production form with sport design, advanced technology, cutting edge safety features. Guys, I could read this entire press release and put you to sleep, but that would take about 40 minutes. So I'm gonna go over the main points here and make sure to smash the like button for the new Civic. Subscribe for more updates along the way. The hatchback hasn't been revealed yet. The hatchback will be made here in America while this sedan is supposed to be made uh, up in Canada. Honda did us a favor by giving us a whole bunch of bullet points to go over. So all new, simple, clean exterior, interior styling. We'll go in that in detail when we go over the pictures. A Civic first all digital LCD display. So that's on the Turing model. So the Turing model has a, a 10 inch display behind the steering wheel that's fully digital. Pretty cool, not even like the Acura TLX has that, unless you're gonna get the Type S. I think the Type S will have fully digital, and then the new MDX has fully digital. But if you don't get the Touring, you get fully digital for the left-hand side, that's gonna be your tachometer. You'll have a digital speedometer as well, and on the right-hand side will be an analog speedometer. Standard new seven-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration. And then on the Touring model, that's the only way you can get this nine-inch color touchscreen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So again, only way you can get wireless CarPlay Android Auto is on the touring package with the larger screen. And that's also gonna give you the Civic First Bose sound system with 12 speakers. And you also get a wireless charger on that touring package because you're gonna be plugged in wirelessly through your CarPlay and Android Auto. Enhanced architecture and stronger body, so it's gonna handle better, perform better. It has a more powerful and fuel efficient one and a half liter turbo engine. We'll talk more about that in a second. Updated suspension and steering tuning for improved handling and ride. Groundbreaking new front airbags designed to reduce traumatic injuries. Civic first rear side airbags and we have a new front view wide camera with traffic jam assist and low speed braking control of course that's going to be on the top model to get full safety features flipping through the pictures here is the sport package the black wheels look really good and they have made the hood longer on this new civic they've they've made the a pillar about two inches further back compared to the previous edition and no reprise of the lobster claws so honda must be getting rid of the lobster claw tail lights as a design cue for them but I think it looks really sharp from this angle I do like the line that goes kind of at an angle from the front wheel all the way to the rear bumper and then a strong body line all the way from the front fender to the rear light and if you look closely the mirrors are now mounted on the door instead of the window that's going to give you better visibility and the window line is supposed to be a little bit lower than the outgoing Civic to help with visibility as well now we don't have full details on paint colors interior options pricing so definitely stay tuned for that but guys here's our first image of the interior and this is kind of similar to that design video came out with a couple days ago talking about how a honda's interior philosophy is going back to the basics very minimal very human-centered approach but to hide the vents they've had this really cool honeycomb pattern you have a couple knobs on each individual vent so it looks like there's four individual vents here you have three knobs here very similar to like you see in a lot of other honda products for the climate control a stick shifter in a sense which is interesting because the accurates have just gone all in on push buttons so Accus are not gonna be getting any of the stick gear selector that's really hard for me to say right now. Push button's gone, I'm totally okay with that. And I think the interior looks really good, very minimal. So we're looking at the interior of a sport. So this actually has the smaller screen. We have the seven inch here, and then on the touring, you're gonna to have the nine inch screen. Time for the powertrains. Carrying over is just what I thought. The two liter, naturally aspirated four cylinder, and the four cylinder, one and a half liter turbocharged model. CVTs only, and there is a possibility that we could get a manual transmission. Uh, well, of course, on the SI model when they release that, of course, on the new Type R when that, whenever that will be released, but there's a possibility on the normal hatchback, so definitely stay tuned. Hopefully, we get a manual transmission on the hatchback that should be available, hopefully, by the end of the year as well. So the power numbers are identical on the 2-liter 4-cylinder with 158 horsepower and 138 pound-feet of torque. 
fuel economy has been raised on it just a little bit. And for the higher trims that get the one and a half liter turbo, which is the EX and Touring, I wish we had the option for a one and a half liter turbo on the Sport model because the Sport model, it's a Sport model. So the fact that you can't get the more uh, powerful engine on that is Kind of interesting but the four cylinder produces 180 horsepower and 177 pound feet of torque which they're saying is up six horsepower and 15 pound feet of torque from last year's model and those are the horsepower numbers i believe if you were able to mate this engine with the six speed manual on the last year's model so but for the cvt they're able to get the more power by using more efficient turbo plumbing and the addition of vtec to the exhaust valves the cvt for the one and a half liter turbo feature improved torque converter performance while also adopting revised step shift programming. Now the two liter sport and the one and a half liter touring trims now feature a user selectable sport mode that's going to make the gas pedal just a little bit more sensitive. Now looking at the fuel economy ratings for each trim you can go ahead and take a look at this it's very minimal LX sees the greatest improvement but for the most part you're going to be getting low 30s average on this new Civic. If you wanna read more about the chassis and the handling, go ahead and pause here. And then also if you wanna read more about the safety, go ahead and pause here so you can take a look at that. Honda gave us a great chart to break it down the trims, which models get which engine. And if I hadn't said that already, paddle shifters are available, well actually standard uh, on the Sport and the Touring models, which paddle shifters on a CVT, you know, sometimes they can be pretty, pretty responsive, but it's, it's not the same. It's, it's just kind of a weird thing. You have McPherson struts in the front and multi-link in the back. So, uh, it could in theory handle better than its rival. Let's say like the Mazda three, because Mazda three had a, has a torsion beam in the back now. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how this handles compared to its competitors in the class. So if you look at the Sport and the Touring, those have the 18-inch wheels. EX has 17-inch wheels and the base LX has 16-inch wheels with, with covers, okay? So you're not getting, you know, you're probably getting steel wheels with covers on the base model. Now look at how they package these on each individual trim. Uh, like I said earlier, the Touring is going to give you the bigger screen, the more di the fully digital uh, instrument cluster. You're going to have the 12 speaker Bose system, wireless CarPlay, uh, and then it just backs off from there with each function. But I see the Sport selling very well. I think it looks really good. You do have overall great safety, great handling. Uh, great functionality, good technology. I can't wait to see the new interior in person. I think it's going to look great. And guys, definitely stay tuned to the channel for more information as we get it closer to launch on the hatchback model, maybe even an SI model, uh, pricing, colors, uh, interior, etc. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you're excited for the new Civic, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe for more updates. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and peace out. Thank you.